Hi, this is Cooper with Native Instruments. In this video, we will show how to manage your NIVST plugins on Windows computers. This is important in order to ensure that you will be able to load them in your DAW and that they will update correctly through Native Access. First, let's take a look at your VST plugin locations. To do this, open the Native Access Preferences. Under File Locations, you're able to define the paths where your VST32 and VST64 bit plugins will be installed. By default, Native Access will install your NI plugins into these two directories. We strongly recommend using only one folder for your 32 bit VST files and another for your 64 bit VST files. It is also crucial not to move these plugins after their installation. To find out where your currently installed plugins are located, choose Installed Products. Here you will find a list of all currently installed Native Instruments products. Click the product you want to find more information about and choose Installation Path. Please note that NIVST3 plugins are installed to a dedicated VST3 location. This installation path cannot be changed. Regardless of the location where you've installed the VST files, just make sure that this location is being scanned by your DAW. In Cubase, for example, open the Studio menu and select VST Plugin Manager. Click the cogwheel icon to open the VST Plugin Path Settings. To add a folder, click the plus icon and browse to the desired folder. If you are using an earlier 32-bit version of Cubase, you will need to add the folder that you've set up for 32-bit VST plugins. If using a 64-bit version of Cubase, here you choose the 64-bit VST plugin path. Choose the correct folder and click Select Folder. Then, Click the Rescan All icon next to the search field. In Machina 2, navigate to File, Preferences, Plugins. Go to the Locations tab and see if the correct plugin path is included in the list. If you can't see it in the list, click Add and navigate to the 64-bit plugin location. Finish by clicking the Rescan button. Please refer to the manual of your DAW for more info on plugin administration. We also offer instructions for most DAWs in our Help Center. Just search for the name of your DAW and find the corresponding article.